Hey, what up guys? Tyler from TarverAcademy.com. Ready? Let's get some learning going. Okay, so problem of the day. Which of the following statements is always true? A, a function is not a relation. B, every function is a relation. C, every relation is a function. And then D, a relation is not a function. Mm -hmm. Okay, so pause the video, give it a shot, and then I'll explain it to you. Ready? Pause. Okay, we resumed. Hopefully you gave it a shot, you thought about everything, so that way you're a little more invested in the problem. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to know what a relation is, and then we need to know what a function is. A relation is essentially, uh, it's a very broad term. It's, uh, it's pretty much any relationship between two numbers. So for instance, if you were doing heights of the, with relation to the age of people in your family. So you'd say like a, a two-year-old is, you know, 20 inches. I have no idea how tall two-year-olds are. Uh, and then you got like a, a you know, a 10-year-old that is, you know, 60 inches tall. And so those numbers relate. That's a relation. Relation is a very broad term. Um, a function is essentially a subset of relation, which means um, that a function is like a, what do they call it? Like a proper relation. It's a, a relation that that makes sense, that, um, that pairs up. The official rule is for, um, for each x you have, or domain, domain, you have only one y, which is your range, okay? So for instance, if you've got your x's and you've got your y's, um, you've got each x, so it'd be like negative 2, 2, 1, 0, 1, negative 1, okay. Um, and then you've got your y's, so like 5, 1, negative 5, 3, and 2. So that means for each x, you've only got one y. So this could be attached here, this could be attached here. Um, you could even have this attached to both of these. And then this is attached to um, this one right here, this one right here, and this one right here. Okay? Wait, let's see. Let's find out if this works. Um, a good way to test this, because it's like, oh, well, hold on. Me as the teacher, I'm like, wait, I can't remember. Does that mean that these can be attached to the same thing? Well, let's plug the coordinates in, and they just have to pass the vertical line test to see if it's a function, which means that if I make a vertical line, it can't cross through two parts of the line. So let's plot this line and see if this works. So negative 2, 5, down 2, up 5. Um, we got um, negative 2, negative 5, so down 2, down 5. So boom, that would not pass the vertical line test because your line cannot hit two points if it does a vertical line. So I would need to scratch that out, okay? So, but we can have negative one, negative five. So if we go negative one, negative five, that would work because then my, my drawing could go through both of these and it wouldn't cross the vertical line test. So I just said a lot, but I said all that to say this. Your relation is pretty much any, like any group of numbers. A function is inside of that. So every function is a relation but not every relation is a function. So that would be a function is not a relation. Well, that's not correct because all functions are relations. Every function is a relation. I'd say that's probably our answer. Let's check everything though. Every relation is a function. No, not true. You can have stuff hanging out over here in this area that aren't functions. And then D, a relation is not a function. That's not true because those relations are functions. So it'd be B, every function is a relation. If you got that right, give yourself 30 points. I uh, hope this helped. If you could, please check me out on social media at Tyler Tarver and TarverAcademy.com for all your math needs. Toodles.